when Sebastian asked me to speak in this event, I was thinking, what can I provide you that you don't have? Like motivation? I don't think so. You guys are motivated enough. Like, you're super smart. You're obviously here. You want things. You're after things. So you don't need any of that. So I want to share you, I want to share with you my life. Okay? And I want to share three specific things. First, looking back 12 years ago, all the stress, sadness, frustration, disappointment that I had when I was doing this process, let me tell you something, it's not, can I say bad words? It's not worth it at all. Don't lose your sleep, don't start overeating, don't stop exercising, don't do any of that stuff. Things will always find a way. You will always find a solution. Believe me, it's not worth it. So right now, if you're feeling frustration, disappointment, just stop, hard stop. You're already doing what it's needed to be done, which is study and move forward. Number two, I came to New York with the idea of becoming either an endocrinologist or a cardiologist. And then I found emergency medicine since day one, and I freaking loved it. Like, I'm an adrenaline junkie, I must confess. So, it was hard letting go the ideas the romantic ideas of what I wanted to do. Like, oh my God, all my dreams. Man, things change and it's okay. You can take different paths and it's all right. Nothing happens. You can shine wherever you are. Right now, I'm super happy in emergency medicine. Uh, I work with med students, residents. I prepare a lot of lectures about pharmacology, healthy eating and blah, blah, blah. And I love it. And I never thought that was something I was going to enjoy, and I do now. So don't be afraid to change, okay? So let's take a brief summary, like what we do when we are running codes in the ER. Number one, don't stress. It's just not worth it. Do what it's need to be done, and that's it. Move on. Number two, don't feel afraid to change, because at some point you're going to have to change directions. It's inevitable. It's just life. Number three, who likes social media? Nobody likes social media? I want to tell you something today that is very important. Social media can be a huge asset for physicians. Okay, that's something no one told me and I had to find out out of nowhere. Social media can be a powerful tool to have a business of your own, be your own boss, and have this amazing networking. Like the people I've met through social media is just incredible. I've been everywhere. I've met pretty much everywhere. Um, and some of you are thinking like, well, okay, uh, yeah, I like social media. I consume social media, but how can I start? You all have a message. You all have an audience. You haven't met those people or you haven't found exactly what your message is, but I'm sure you have it. You have to start tapping into it. It's an incredible, powerful tool that can change things for you Mark. down the road. Doesn't happen overnight, that's a lie. It takes years, okay? And if you take social media with professionalism, things can get pretty, pretty Mark. happy Mark. down Mark. the road. I've been able to you know, meet with political representatives, going to the White House, things that I would've never done if I didn't have my social media account. So I think you should start investing on it. So those are my three tips or advice or piece of information for you. Stop worrying and move on. Two, don't be afraid to change path. Three, invest in your social media. Okay, thank you so much. Wow.